We have several cases of uh, domestic violence um, that affect also children. Uh, we have also cases of uh, female genital mutilation that is being practiced in Korea community. We also have cases uh, of uh, child labor. We also have cases here in Migori uh, of uh, other violence against children. They have really helped us in counseling. They have helped us even to rescue these children. They have, uh, the, some churches are really uh, helping in rescuing these children and give them safe houses as the government takes uh, action on what to do because it is a responsibility of the government to take, to take care of these children to protect them. Town yangu ya Isibani, tumekuwa na watoto, na wengi wao wanatoka ngambo hile ngine. Mana tumekaka na gikao na machief, tumejaribu jinsi ya kutika hawa watoto, tumegundua ni watoto wanatoka kule Tanzania. One of the things that religious leaders have been helping is to provide counseling and spiritual support to these people who are defiled or even children who are victims of violence. I thank you very much. The government has been OCS and Maskari, who have been working on this work. They have been working on this work. They have been working on this work in December. They have been working on this work. They have been working on this work. They have been working on this work. Another engagement has been there with the, even the community leaders, uh, the government administration units in matters to address issues of gender-based violence among children. Because we don't have a rescue center, we will not just sit and look at what is happening to our children. We have to take a responsibility and see how do we protect these children, how do we come in and help these children who are violated, whose, whose rights are being violated with the community, with the society, and even with family members, even with our own parents, are violating the rights of their own children. And they are supposed to protect these children. Kwa hiyo tunaimiza watu wote tushirikiane pamoja kungoja hawa watoto wawe na ulinzi ulio mwema. When children are engaged in child labor, for example, now that they are selling things here and there, they get used to money. And that is what we may, they get used to money and they begin to love money and at the end of it all, because they cannot be employed in a form or informal employment, they may easily intrude and end up into a criminal things and then uh, the society becomes uh, uh, not a secure place to be. Cases of children and child labor have gone down because of the multi-sectoral approaches that we have given the issues of children and gender-based violence. We cannot say we have peace if even our own children do not have peace in our own families. They have really contributing a lot in peace issues. They have been uh, organizing peace talks. We have, they have been also organizing for peace meetings, sensitization and awareness creation to the community through media and through other uh, forums. To, through their church services, they have really been giving, uh, creating awareness and uh, giving information on what we are supposed to do, how we need to live as a society and a community of Migori. In, in this last 16 days of gender-based violence activism, we participated, we've been doing radio talk shows, we've been going to schools, we've been going to various community forums, talking about gender-based violence, and especially in this year and this theme, that the men were supposed to speak out. We are encouraging the men to speak out. So we've had a liaison with our gender desk at the Migori police station. We've had a few cases where men have spoken up and we are working towards having a safe space, not only for the girls and the women, but also for the men, where we can be able to come up, we can, they can be able to talk about what's affecting them and we can be able to find solutions. What, we've, what achievement through this that we've got so far is the kangaroo court. Normally when there was a gender-based violence case, be it sexual, be it mental, there was always a kangaroo court. This thing will be solved out of court. But this is coming to an end, we must appreciate that. We are, we are working with our county government, we are working with the county government, we are also working with our leaders, our faith-based leaders, and they are helping us to resolve this. This matter is not resolved in the kangaroo courts, but we are, we are having justice. Where we've been offering talks, we also have, we also mentoring girls. We also mentoring boys during this holiday season, and which we appreciate so far so good. We also want I also want to thank the RSCK for giving us this forum, for always being there for us when we call out to them for us for support. 
also we are we've also been uh, going to different schools different secondary schools talking about mental health with our teenagers and our adolescents we've also been distributing pads to the needy girls and we've, we've also been having mentorship with them we thank you for that